and today with a solution to turn your old Windows computer into a refreshed machine with Windows 11. In this particular case, Tiny 11, which is a stripped down version of Windows 11. We will go through all this step by step and at the end you will have a machine such as this one right over here, even if it has only one gigabyte of RAM or 512 megabytes of RAM. Now, once we finish the procedure, if you want to activate your Windows 10 or 11, don't forget to check out the cdkcells.com website. I will leave a link down below and also a coupon code that will give you an extra 30% discount. You will find official OM keys at an affordable price and it's a platform that we have been using for the past few months. Easy to purchase, easy to activate link down below just in case you want to check that out. Now, I will use two examples right over here of older devices. This one here only has two gigabytes of RAM and this one four gigabytes of RAM. But I was not able to use Tiny 11 here, only here, so I did use Tiny 10. I will explain that in the end of the video so that if you have the same issue, you'll have the solution on the same video as well. First of all, a note that Tiny11 is not an official Microsoft Windows version. It is made by the NT Dev or Modified, which is a development team that does experiments with Windows. What they did was a stripped down version of Microsoft Windows 11. And what we've got right over here is a really light version without everything that we don't need on most cases. Now, let's go for this step by step. First of all, we will need a USB thumb drive. I've got a 64 gigabytes right over here, but you can use a smaller one if you need. We will need to download Tiny11. I will leave a link down below as well so that you guys can check it out. We will go to the Internet Archive and to do the download, as you guys know, we need to have an account. It's free to register, so just register and download it. I did download the version um, which is available at this moment with no system requirements, 3.6 gigabytes. And once we download it, we will need a tool called Rufus which you probably already know. I will leave a link down below as well. Or you can search Google Rufus, just download it, which is the tool that we will use to create the USB pen with the Tiny 11. Now, once we have Rufus, we just need to open it up and then we will need to install, of course. And after that, select the image of Tiny 11, select the USB drive that we are using, and then just proceed with the installation. There are some options that we can select, like create a local account and so on and so forth, that we have used in the past. But in this particular case, I did test it with Tiny 11 and the suggestion that I would do is do not select anything because I did get some errors. Press start and wait for the bar to finish. It is a matter of a few minutes. And once we have finished, we will have our USB drive ready and we can insert on our mini computer, our laptop, our desktop, doesn't matter. Once we insert the USB drive, we will need to start or boot it up and press Dell or F12 or F2, depending on your motherboard, depending on your model, so that we can go to the BIOS menu and select boot from USB. Once we boot from USB, we will need to start the installation, which is a normal Windows installation. If necessary, if you have more than one part partition to have everything cleaned up, I would suggest to delete everything and just leave one partition available. Then we can advance with the installation. It will restart the computer several times and after that it will continue the installation and once it boots for the third time if I'm not mistaken it will go into the setup menu where we'll select the country the keyboard Wi-Fi and so on and so forth and after a couple of minutes we will be inside Windows 11 and they really clean installation first thing that we will notice is that we don't have a lot of stuff we just have the necessary to have Windows in a really clean manner. Actually, I really enjoy this version because I don't have a lot of stuff that I don't use. And right now we can just start using our Windows Tiny 11. Now, just as a note, main differences that we will find right over here, a normal Windows 11 installation will take about 20 gigabytes of storage, while here we only take about eight gigabytes. Nonetheless, on my testings, um, I did get roughly 13 gigabytes of usage, so not 8, not 20, 
13 more or less no requirements so if your machine has only one gigabyte of ram you will be able to use windows 11 with everything that it's available right over here and this a great experience in my opinion another cool thing is that if you don't want to use a microsoft uh, windows account which is mandatory for windows 10 and windows 11 at this moment with tiny 11 we can just create a local account and that is it. Huge differences in terms of software. We will not find everything that comes with Windows 11. For example, Teams, Microsoft Edge, applications that are sponsored like Spotify, things like that. So we won't have any software that is extra. Nonetheless, if you are worried about security, the team NTDev maintained everything. One other question that I had was, will I have updates? And honestly, I was a bit concerned because if I didn't have any updates, I would probably not even record this video to share with you. But I was really happy to see that we have normal Windows 11 updates. So this was a great news. And basically, this is it. In my opinion, it is totally worth it to use not only on really old machines, but for example, this machine that I was using has 4 gigabyte of RAM and it can be used to install Windows 11 regular version. But I do find that Tiny 11 works a lot better because it's a light version, doesn't have a lot of bloatware and things that I don't really need and it occupies less space. So why wouldn't I use Tiny 11 instead of the normal version? This is a decision that we need to make and in these cases I would suggest Tiny 11 or Tiny 10. Talking about Tiny 10, let's talk why I had to install it on this machine. This is the oldest machine that I've got right over here. 2 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage. And when I was installing Tiny 11, it did not recognize the disk, which is an AMMC. The solution was to find drivers to load while I was doing the installation, but I was not able to find those drivers. And if this is your case, if you are stuck on the installation part where it doesn't find a internal storage SSD or whatever, then don't give up because Tiny 10 will go through that step. What happened was I did try Tiny 10 and with Tiny 10, which is based on Windows 10, it did recognize and I was able to install it and that is it, really easy. So first option will be Tiny 11 on your machine, but if you find this issue that I did find with this right over here, which didn't have uh, drivers on Windows 11, then try with Tiny 10 and probably you will have a great experience of your even older machine that you already were having. That being said, hope that this guide was helpful. And if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Huerto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.